We were talking about earlier on in the park the other time, a, a silver Labrador. I'd never seen a silver Labrador and it was such a beautiful dog. Anyway, then everyone questioned whether I'd actually seen that or whether I'd met a wolf. The vet Scott questioned me on he it. Did. He did. It's true. Amazing, because he, the vet, hadn't heard of it. Not heard of it. Apparently, a silver Labrador is a variation of the chocolate Labrador with a gene that dilutes their colour. And Mick has sent in a picture of Bailey, the silver Labrador. So there it is. I wasn't going mad. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? I love that I colour. I know. Beauty. There Absolute we are. beauty. So there you go. Anyway. I wonder whether Sheridan Smith has ever <laughs> come across a silver Labrador. Um, <laughs> last year might have gone to the dogs, but our next guest is hoping to turn things around in 2021 with a brand new competitive show set to get tails wagging. Yes, Peach Perfect. He's professional dog stylist Pooch. from... What did I say? Peach. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Pooch perfect, is what I meant to say. Sees <laughs> professional dog stylists from around the country battle it out to be crowned the ultimate dog groomer. The host of the show is award winning actress Sherrod and Smythe. <laughs> 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 Before we speak to her, <laughs> let's take a look at what's in store. <laughs> Wow, a lion. That's incredible. <laughs> I love that. Sheridan, it's so good to see you. And this show is so up my street, I can't even begin to tell you. I'm really going to enjoy it. And you didn't take much convincing, did you, to take part? Not at all. When they rang me, I was pregnant. And um, <laughs> you can see my dogs running around in the background. Um, and I, yeah, and it just was like doggy heaven. I just, I'm surrounded by dogs all day and it's just the most lovely job. And I hopefully the tonic that we all need at the minute. Yeah. And so this is your first foray into TV presenting. It is. I should have left it to you guys. Well, no, not when I call it peach perfect. I mean, <laughs> I think you were the girl for the job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might go with, I like that name. How did you find it? <laughs> Do you know, I loved it. I was really nervous. Um, I had, sorry, my dogs are going mental in the background. Um, but I, um, I had a co-host called Stanley, uh, a dog, <laughs> which was brilliant. And he was perfect. He did everything on the right cue. I did loads of takes. He did one take. He was a one take wonder. Um, I, um, was... Oh, there you go. There's Stanley. He's gorgeous, isn't he? He's like Alice Beer Stanley, actually, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's a good-looking good dog. So what, what's the premise? How does it work, then? Just explain the show. So there are 16 contestants, um, all, like, the top of the field. They're all amazing groomers from all over the nation. Um, and then we do uh, four heats, two quarterfinals, a semi-final and a final. Is that normal behaviour for them behind you? I'm just checking everything's OK and they're just having a scrap. <laughs> no, this is normal. It's just like they said they wanted chaos. I'm sorry. And I said, Are you sure now? <laughs> <laughs> you've got you've got six dogs yourself. I mean, yeah, this is why you are perfect for the job. Yeah, I've got four here now. Um, and I've got four donkeys across the way and a baby. So it's a mad ass here. <laughs> so uh, so was there a, a worry that I mean you are spending such close proximity with all those amazing dogs that you were gonna bring another one home? Yeah, I promised my mum no more livestock. So uh, I did, I managed to not bring them home. But it was hard because they're gorgeous. And I mean, the contestant, <laughs> Shka, um, the contestant, you can see how well I'm good. I'm really good with my dogs. I'm well trained. Um, but no, the, the contestants take it very seriously. It's obviously their profession. And, um, and so it was a it's a serious show, but it's really camp, really fun. And the doggy welfare, people are on set all the time because it's important, you know, for the dogs. They're the stars of the show. And um, and we do, like, a dog walk challenge where the owners see their dogs transformed and uh, they're in tears. And it's just a really camp, bit of light relief, hopefully, at this time, you know? But, I mean, as, as much as you say that, the sort of rules of dog grooming are incredibly serious, aren't they? So there's a lot of stake here. That's it. And they do, you know, I didn't realise how much skill goes into it. And, you know, in our first lockdown, if you remember, there was like a YouTube clip of all the worst kind of at home cuts that people were doing. But um, it is really important. And also our vet, Bolu, who's on set all the time, he uh, said it's very important that groomers, you know, they often find skin complaints from uh, the owners might not have noticed. Um, and so they work hand in hand with vets. So it is really good for them as well. And when they were casting the dogs, they made sure they were dogs that enjoy being pampered. And so it's all, you know, it's all very, it, the, the dogs are top priority. One of the worst parts about uh, being a presenter on these sorts of shows, and we've all done it, um, is the moment when 
you get to the point where you have to send someone yeah. home. Yeah. You've got to chuck them out. It's horrible, isn't it? I hated it. I, I, I actually begged them for me not to do that bit. Because um, the judges, Colin and Verity, uh, are the experts. And so I'm just there as moral support, really, and to cuddle dogs all day. <laughs> um, but they choose who goes each week. And, they, you know, they, they really put their heart and soul into it. And it's their living, you know. So... Um, I got really kind of emotionally involved with them all, so I hated having to send anyone home. I wanted them all to win, so that was the bit I really didn't like doing. However, I guess if you come out victorious at the end of this and you win something like this, I mean, this is sort of career-changing, isn't it? I guess so. Like we, we, they get to win the Golden Stanley, which is our version of the glitter ball, I guess, for Strictly. Um, but <laughs> you can see my dog, this is mayhem. I'm so sorry. It just sounds like really heavy breathing. It's very oh, weird. Oh, oh, hello. <sighs> they were very friendly then. One step beyond now. Oh, oh, <laughs> heavens. <laughs> I don't know whether I should look away. I'm not quite sure. It's possibly you could type the shot slightly. <laughs> Tilt up, tilt up, tilt up. <laughs> um, we, you mentioned the panto there. Uh, well done. Thank you yeah, for being on our, on our first that. ever panto. Uh, well, we won't forget the teeth, that's for we sure. We just loved it. So Phil made me laugh because he was like, don't spit your teeth out. Then I got the giggles. Um, that's live telly, isn't it? Um, but it was great. Thank you for having me involved. It was such a laugh. No, oh, not at pleasure. all. And, uh, and there is talk of a new drama. So is that a possibility? Yeah, in the summer, I'm doing an ITV drama. Um, it's a four-part drama. So that's kind of where, my, you know, that's what I love the most. So I'm really excited to get back acting. Um, oh, right. But this is... It's a real nice change to do a bit of hosting and to be around doggies. So I hope everyone enjoys Of course we night. will. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Thank you so much. It's lovely. Always lovely to talk to you. Pooch Perfect is tomorrow at 8 on BBC One. Thanks, Sheridan. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.